This is a heating rod or heating rods. Beautiful British name. 300 watt, you can guess what this is. This is an aquarium heater with a slight difference. Now, it's made by a company called I have no idea what it's made by, but I'll put a link up anyway. Anyway. Daniel made me get this because he'd done such a good review of the Nikru air pump. I kind of wanted him to do one on this. Now, let's have a quick look. I'm going to un unbox it now, um, take it out of the package and we'll have a look. Okay, there's your heating element. There's your set and I'm pretty sure that goes on the outside. It, won't need water. it comes with a three pin UK plug and let's see how safe this plug is. Good. You see, a lot of um, imported Chinese or Oriental stuff, there's a plastic sheath on here. This is earth. You don't have a plastic sheath. If you see a plastic sheath on it, don't use it, yeah, because it means the actual item is live. A lot of cheap stuff had this, and it is really, really rubbish. So be very careful with that. Let's have a look. I'm going to take everything out of the box. We'll have another look. Okay. Well, it was vacuum packed, which was a pain to get off, but it does look quite good. I don't know if you can see that. The lights are a bit weird. Um, it does come with all the suckers and all the brackets. This, I believe, is a sand filled element, so it'll be virtually indestructible, hopefully. And it does come with a heat guard. This is where you put your suckers. I'm going to get this working in the tank. Now this is the 300 watt version. They do lots of other word, uh, versions of this. Um, so I'm gonna put a link to everything I can see. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I've actually done my ankle in, so I'm kind of laying on the floor at the moment. Um, I'll give you a quick flick through of the instructions. If you bear with me, let's just oh, reorganize myself. Now, the world's first five security protection. A dramatic man. There you go. That's going to give you an idea how this operates. So I'm going to set it up in a tank, and we're just going to have a quick look on the Roma, see how it works. Um, now the only thing I can see that's going to be an issue with this, okay, is that this obviously can't go anywhere near moisture, which means it's going to have to go on a wall or something. But we'll, we'll deal with that. It's not a biggie. Well packaged, I'll give them that. But this stuff was crap. Anyway, let's have a look. Just a quick note. That is how long the cable is. And it is rather long. <laughs> so, this will do. You know, if you had a, a power socket that was quite far away from your tank, and your filter's down below, that would be perfect. Okay, so let's get it set up. Okay, this is now in operation. And just to show you how accurate it is, um, or is not as the case may be, here's my other ones. Now these, this is 27. 26.5 so if you take a happy medium between those two you're looking at about 27 okay now don't forget I've set that and it's telling me the water temperature is that so I'm going to leave it on for an hour we're going to have a look now there's no indication that's actually working on there which is kind of unusual but we're going to see because obviously I think that is probably, oh, it's telling me, it's not heating either. So we're going to have a look and keep an eye on this over the next, I don't know. Actually, we'll do it over a few days because you can't shoot it before anything. But I'll tell you what, the cable you have is very long. The only problem is you'd have to have this at the front of the tank. So you're going to have the cables hanging down, aren't you? 
I mean, I suppose you could probably hang it somewhere else. I mean, I've got a little alcove here, which is um, quite unique. But we'll see. There's your setup. We'll take another little video later on and see how it's working out. All right. Oh, this is looking all right. Now, it is quite unsightly, I'll be honest with you. His cables are just everywhere, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. I can see that being an issue, to be fair. Um, it is quite accurate. It's within one degree, which I kind of expect from this. So I kind of enjoy um, the idea of it. Obviously, I haven't stuck it in there, but it is sand-filled. The problem is there's no guide to operation on the actual unit. It's all done by this. Now, this is the problem I have with this. If, say for instance, you know, let me get in a bit further. It's quite bright, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. The only problem I see with this is if you've got warm temperatures, it's still going to set around 26 degrees because it says three degrees either side. So that's not a bad thing. Um, but it's the cables. The cables are a bit of a pain. Hello, mate. Um, I don't like them. I, I don't think that's good. But this is what it's all about. You've got to test this equipment out. I think it's quite a, a good visual aid. I mean, it has obviously got a built-in thermometer, which is quite a good idea. It's quite expensive for what it is. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, the clip on the back's a pain. Um, you have to twist it on and off, which there is no instructions. The instructions always poo. Um, but that's good.